Hi all, welcome to this course on production planning and control. Today we'll be learning about rank positional weight. What is the rank positional weight method? It is a method of a line balancing which takes the predictions, precedence relationship and the processing timing of all the tasks for solving. Where, for example, if we consider a number of elements from 1 to 12 with different time durations of 5, 3, 4, 3, 6, 5, 2, 6, 1, double 4, 7, which is total of 50 minutes. And we use the precedence diagram. Like for 2, it is 1. Before 3, it is 2. Before 4, again 1. Before 5, it is 4. Before 6, it is 3 and 5. Before 7, it is 6. Before 8, it is 7. 9, it is 6. Before 10, it is 6. Before 11, it is 10. And before 12, it is 8, 9, and 11. So based upon these precedence time and precedence numbers, we will be having a precedence diagram which indicate or which is shown by this that 1 is connected to 2 and 3, 2 is connected to 3, 3 is connected to 6. Similarly, 4 is connected to 5 and 5 is connected to 6. Now 6 is again divided into 7 and 10 and 6 is flowing through 9. 7 is going to 8, 9 is going to 12, 10 is going to 11 and 11 is going to 12. So at 12, we are having three meeting points of 8, 9, and 11. Hence, the total CD is equal to the total time available divided by desired output, which is equal to 10 minutes. And therefore, the minimum number of workstations N is given as that total, which is 50 divided by the 10, which is 5. Hence, the theoretical minimum number of workstations are coming to be 5. And calculating the rank positional weight for each element, we will have the total number of elements and the duration and the precedence diagram and based upon that precedence diagram now we will find out what is the rank positional weight from each of the element that is 1 is 50, 2 is 36, 3 is 33, 4 is 38, 5 is 35, 6 is 29, 7th element is 15, 8th element is 13, 9th element is 8, 10th element is 15, 11th element is 11 and 12th element is 7 and based upon these rank positional weights we can add them or keep them in a particular order. And based upon that rank positional weight order in the descending order, we arrange the elements as 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6, 7, 10, 8, 11, 9, and 12. And assigning each of the workstations, we will be getting its total duration workstation and the ideal time which are determined in this diagram. Hence, by utilizing the formula of line efficiency, we get the efficiency to be 83.3%. Balance delay to be 1 minus the efficiency, which is 16.7%, and the smoothness index, which is ST of max minus ST of i whole square, which when we find it out, the value will be coming 5.09. Thank you.